Well, hey, hi, and hello. How are you doing this evening? Or morning? I don't know what it is, where you are. But hi, how's it going? So, I've been having a day, <laughs> you know? But I mean, um, it's Tuesday, so I don't, you know, I just kind of have come to expect it at this point. <laughs> but nevertheless, I was having some screen flickering issues with my capture card, which I have a few ideas after speaking with a friend about it. I have a few ideas about what that could be. Uh, so as far as that, we'll be holding off on starting the Outer Wilds. I did put this in Discord, but uh, hopefully we can start the Outer Wilds soon-ish. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, tonight, we're going to start Nancy Drew, The Captive Curse. And on that note, I don't know what my audio sounds like. Because I always think, like, how can I make my audio sound better? And then when I try to fix it, or when I try to tweak it somehow, <laughs> I end up making it worse. And then I guess start all over, so... <sighs> so I apologize for being super late to stream tonight. But, um, but here we are. I hope it sounds okay. As always, you know, if things sound weird, please let me know. I appreciate it. It's very helpful to me. But, uh, let's get started. Let me bring up the game. I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. All right, so as I just mentioned, <laughs> I don't know what my audio sounds like. Okay, so we've got our music volume down quite a bit, effects and voices up. But, um, we may have to play around with this here at the beginning. We'll see. Let's go ahead and open the case file and For see centuries, what we've got. For a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Wow. Oh, also I should mention that when I, this is another game where if we click or tab out of the game, you're still gonna be able to see it, but you're not gonna be able to hear it. So just letting you know. Although we do have a lot of moments in Nancy Drew games where there's just no, excuse me, there's just no, uh, sound sometimes <laughs> like rather there's no music or sound effects going on so keep that in mind as we venture back into our nancy drew verse i guess <laughs> oh 
All right. What else do we have, Nancy? Oh, and I apologize if you can hear me clicking around and stuff. I did try to fix that as well, so you wouldn't be able to hear it, but, uh, you know. You know. So. Let's look at our how to be a detective. Okay, never mind. Let's not look at- we know how to play. We're Nancy Drew veterans, right? Okay, is this our- what is this? Our scrapbook? Yeah, we've only played a few of these. Okay. So where is this one? In the in the lineup rundown. Like, is it the 24th one? <laughs> I don't see it on here. I'm guessing it's the current one, right? 24, probably. We've got The Adventures of Koji and Kit! Didn't we get this comic? Was it this one exactly? Maybe it was a different one. But didn't we get this comic, uh, the, the last game we played when we were in Japan? I think, well, that would make sense because that would be the 23rd, uh, Nancy Drew game, wouldn't it? I, I think that would make sense. Okay. Let's see. Let's click the plane ticket already. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Oh, no. Okay. So, we could, you know, we could try to be a senior detective, but I don't think that's going to work out very well. It, it, it just never really works out all that well for us, you know? So, so maybe <laughs> we're... I'm going to go with Junior Detective because, uh, because for the reason being that I'm pretty sure there's like a hotline or something we can call if we need hints or whatever, which we most likely will. So, Junior Detective it is. Germany, a long time ago. The hell <laughs> so that was a long time ago germany present day we have money we got to keep track of our money oh no okay before we enter let me fix something real quick hey andy how's it going right <laughs> she just got yoinked like what the hell Oh my god. Oh, once again, if I tab off the game, you're not going to be able to hear it, like, now. Just letting you know. Okay. Alright. I just want to turn a few things up a little bit. Just a tad. You know. I might just be fucking with everything and making it worse. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I have no idea. It's locked.
It's locked. Okay, I apologize for not having my shit together, but um, I'm still trying to make sure everything is going okay. Alright, I, I hope that's okay, maybe. Hey, Dunkmaster, yo, what's up? What? 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 <laughs> what? Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> This is Nancy Drew. Please let me in. This is Lucas. Please let me out. What? What? This is what you sound like when you say that. What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No. But if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. What? All right. No, just let us in. What do you mean if, if I can find a match? What? Oh, okay. What? Okay. Right? This is not what I signed up for. Is it these two? I got it. Did it. Done. Heh. Okay. Got him. I solved it. Nice job. Thank now you. Now for part two of your test. Lucas! You passed. Good job. Gotta go. Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. You know, I think we did. I think we did. Alright, let's go in. Reminder again, I did read that this was supposed to be the spookiest, scariest of the Nancy Drew games. I just want to ask a few questions. We're just bothering these people. What Whoa. did I say? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, apparently. Don't worry, we're gonna get through this together, okay? We'll all be scared together. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Ooh, let's go into the dark, scary basement. Cellar. Okay, never mind. Apparently we can't. ESL musical notes quiz. Gretel, what is the letter name of this note? E. Cool. <laughs> Speaking of homework. Ooh. There must be a specific order to play these in. Oh my god. It's gotta be that girl's homework, right? What do you mean you claim- you can't claim this house. You, you can't- you can't claim this house. Somebody lives here.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Both of y'all, oh my goodness. Oh wait, where, that's, wait, hold on. Nancy, it's Ned. Hi, Yay. Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad oh, here. Ned. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway plan for the two of us. Ned. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry oh, home yeah. as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, International Sleuth, gets to go out adventuring. While Ned break up. stays at home. Oh, again. no. I'm sorry you're not having yeah, a better I, time. If you're sure not having fun, together. then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. Oh. I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. Fine. That was not great. No, it's not because we're fucking horrible. What a way to start a game. Oh my god. Well, Jesus Christ. We're breaking up with our boyfriend from overseas. Well, okay, no, not well. I mean, we're overseas. I mean, did we officially break up? We just had a fight. We can work through it, right? Although, Ned deserves better because Nancy's fucking horrible. Nancy is the worst. It's like, oh, are you bored at home while I'm in Germany on a case? Go out and have some fun. Never yeah, mind that you had to cancel plans again. Again? Like, how many times has he canceled plans for them? To have some little romantic weekend getaway or whatever, you know? That's kind of horrible. Nancy doesn't know what fun is. <laughs> uh, I mean, her idea of fun is probably coming out here on a case, right? So. Jeez, like she's... This isn't even a job. She's not even getting paid, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a hobby. This is why I'm saying Nancy is obsessed with the thrill of... Like, she's addicted, you know? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right, Dunkmaster? For real. For real. He has every right to be upset. I don't blame him at all. Where are we going? By the way, hey, Sarah. How are you doing? <laughs> Is Ned I need to go see Carl. The rich one? D I mean, define the rich one because I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty sure Nancy and Ned and, like, all of her friends all come from, uh, not, like, wealthy families, but, like, upper middle class, at least. They all have money, so, at, at least according to, like, the books and stuff. Which these are based on, so I'm guessing. Oh, those are Frank and Joe, the Hardy Boys. <laughs> yeah, no, not them. <laughs> oh, we needed to look at Gretel's, um, fucking homework. Here we go. E, B flat, G... A, D, F sharp, B, C. That's an E. Huh. I don't know how to play this fucking instrument. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Let's, you know what? You know what I think we should do? We should do a little thing. You're gonna hear me clicking around probably. All right, I have an idea. Let's, um, let's do this. You can't see what I'm doing. That's okay, let's do that. And then, uh, and then let's, do ooh. And then let's do that, and then let's do that, and then let's uh, save that. 
homework. Yes, there we go. And then let's add a little image source. And then let's uh, do this thing. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Except that's gigantic. So let's move that off to the side. It's really nice that we have these bars like the, the the border around the entire image you know what i mean it's kind of nice let's do that there we go we're n okay what we're not gonna do is everyone's homework <laughs> we're not gonna do everyone's homework no thank you little gretel can do her own homework thank you very much I mean, homework in games is not, it's not that bad. Homework in real life, it depends on the homework. I mean, if it's busy work, no thank you. But if it's like a pro, ooh, it's sh fucking shiny. Did we just get some money? Dude. Would you look at that? No, 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 see, I'm pretty sure that that's illegal per Twitch TOS, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, wait, where was the place we just came from? We need to go back... Huh. What do you mean, nope? Yeah, okay, there's nothing about homework. Per se, per, per se, specifically. But the transaction of some type of, well, I guess, I was gonna say, like, some type of good for Steven Bucks for channel points is not allowed. Like an actual physical thing. But if it's homework, that feels like a gray area. <laughs> No, 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 no. What do you mean, homework alert? Sarah's not gonna do everyone's homework. No, 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 no. Uh, it might say services. Okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Y'all are horrible. Y'all are horrible. Ridiculous. Hang on, I need to see this homework. I forgot that I was gonna make that a thing that we couldn't do for this stream. <laughs> and now it's time to play this instrument. <laughs> I'm really mad, but you can't tell because I'm singing and I'm not gonna do it very well. You got an A and a B. Apparently, there's a G. <laughs> I think we're missing something. <laughs> I don't think I did it right. <laughs> How long do I have to sing for? Because I don't remember the time. Why are we getting a phone call? What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty, because you have broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. Hmm. Thanks, see you later. See ya. Well, we're fucked. We're fucked. Everything is bad. 
I have to translate that. Everything is bad. Everything is bad. <laughs> Where the fuck are we going? I don't know where to go. I really wish that I had turned off Serenade for the stream. Because I didn't plan on singing. I have to translate that. And my voice feels really weird. <laughs> this must be the room that Carl set up for me. Apparently, we're staying in this mansion. supposed to sing when there's music already and I don't know how it goes I don't know the melody Didn't we just come from... Wait... <laughs> fine. No one will die. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Wait, is it only five minutes? Look at that. Fucking did it. Oh my god. Hang on. I gotta get this homework off the screen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen. I don't appreciate <laughs> I don't appreciate you, um redeeming these points that I have available to be redeemed for. <laughs> oh god. What am what am I doing? What am I y'all This is gonna be one scuffed stream, okay? I hope y'all are okay with that. Because that's what we're doing tonight. Okay. Yes, hello sir. You must be Nancy, yes? That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Shh, shh. 
There is certainly no monster frau line and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge and it is also huge problem. <laughs> I need your help. I believe Why him. are you doing that? <laughs> doing what? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? No one. What? I am the Burgermeister, what? Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? Of course. Doesn't yours? Oh my god, Duncan. I don't faster. really <laughs> live in a castle. How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? Oh no. It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. What, 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 and thank what, you. What? But, but, but. Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. Were they dolls? Fräulein, these are not dolls. Okay, what are those items? These are injection molded, professionally crafted, physical, tactical, multi directional, place holding avatars. Okay. Oh, right. Therefore, a fully immersive, strategic, map-inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Oh, yes, we would call it that. But that is yeah, because in the rest of the world, <laughs> games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously that is why german board games are the best in the world okay i mean i'm not disagreeing but i'm also not agreeing like i don't what i mean there's plenty of games from everywhere that are good <laughs> they are <laughs> y'all i missed nancy's um sarcastic and uh not very nice remarks <sighs> She's kind of horrible. But but yeah, what is this guy's deal? I don't know. I don't know. They are? Yes, they are. Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. Which now that I think about it as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. No, the other thing. Why is this game so important? You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't be shy. I can always use constructive criticism. I mean, sure? Sure, I'd love to. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Shadow Ready? Legends? I'll play blue if you play the other no, two God colors. God damn it. Oh, excellent. I'm playing on easy. I don't know what we're doing. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Sailor Redbraid. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, RS Gold or something? The Golden Hunter. I can't really read the text underneath, so... Oh, there we go. Hey, we won! Look at that! What do you know? to do <laughs> you know professor sparrow oh it's so cute look at him with his little butterfly on his book 
I mean, probably. We're in here just playing games and the monster's out there just, like, rampaging. <laughs> oh. We didn't win that one. Got the sparrow back, though. It's a draw, I guess. I don't know. I... <laughs> hey, we did it. Oh, there's, oh, there's a whole book. Wait, it's still going. Okay, hang on. We'll let it get to our turn, and then we'll read the rules. Okay. Be the first player to enter the castle. Player spins a spinner and moves their pawn forward and the number shown. The color of the square the player lands on determines the next action. Purple steals a card from any other player who has two or more cards. If no other player has two or more cards, no steal will occur. Well, that makes sense. Strength, magic, health, and wisdom. How are we just supposed to remember all of this? You know? Oh, there's more. Okay, how to challenge. Um. being punished like <laughs> you know I just <laughs> uh. player prepares to enter the castle by either landing exactly on the last red square for a challenge or by spinning a number with which would move their pawn past the red square if their spin would move the pawn past the final red square, they must still stop on the square and challenge any other player. If they lose the challenge, they must move their pawn back as per normal challenge play. If they win the challenge, they enter the castle and win the game. And I don't know what I just read because I did not retain any of that information. So, we're just gonna play, I guess. Let's, um, let's try out the golden hunter. Oh, we discarded him, great. <laughs> All right, what about the enchanted mirror? Oh, um. Damn it. Things are looking grim, chat. I guess there are. Who's the third player? Is it just the guy? Because that's not fair. That's cheating, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> Oh, we got two Professor Sparrows. Let's use that. Let's take one from him. Challenge it. Wait a minute. Oh, we discarded it. Oh, man. Right. Fuck. Well, we're gonna lose. 
hand. He has the upper hand because he created the game. This isn't fair. This is bullshit. Wow. If the saucy pirate lasts, okay. I mean, I'm always on the hunt for bricks, so I like that idea. The Donkey King? He mastered the loot! Is he in the loot guild? Oh my god, I joined the loot guild in ESO like a year ago, and I never did anything with him. I think I'm still in the guild. I don't think they ever kicked me out. I should probably do something about that. Way back here. Oh man. Come on, Donkey King. Damn it. Damn it, I was supposed to bring snacks. Oh man. I fucking I failed. I, I just oh man. They'll never let me loot with them. Why did we win? Can we play magic instead? I kind of- I- I mean, to be fair, I, I didn't- Well, I tried to pay attention to the rules, but it just felt like a lot of information all at once. What if we loot their loots? But then they won't have any loot to loot. How are they gonna loot if they don't have any loots, you know? Wait a minute, no, we're not trying to control the guild. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. Look at that, we're catching up. Come on, Donkey King. Fuck yeah! I mean, I, I think this is good. so many cards. You win. What? Okay, like not the game. Why did we say that? <laughs> Nothing can beat our Donkey King. Probably because he plays the loot. Well, maybe we are trying to take control of the guild then. I don't know. No, we're, no, we're not. Never mind. <sighs> Go 
Here's our donkey. Well, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was gonna say, we might still have a chance, but I don't know. Corn Cannoneer? I got him. Oh my god. No, we could. We could do it. Maybe.
That square that makes this go backward. That's true. It's hard to know what to pick. <laughs> Like, uh, I, although I think I've picked that same, or that outcome has happened quite a few times now. Okay, that took me a while, but I think I get it now. <laughs> Oh, Yellow, yeah, oh, that's a 14, 13, 12, 14. Oh, it's a draw. Okay, we're on red. Got a 12. 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did we win? Nice round. What did you think? Okay. 
I ended up liking it after I realized how to play. <laughs> I loved it. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. I said to myself, Carl, this is the one. This is a game that's going to put you on the map. Here, <laughs> take this for your trouble. It was pretty fun. Thanks. I guess some money. Yeah, at first it just kind of, I think I was, uh, got a little overwhelmed by all those rules and stuff, you know? But in, like, actually playing it, figuring it out, it wasn't that hard. Okay. Who's Lucas? Lucas is the castle's other monster. What do you mean? He's the head of security's son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. How could oh someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. Pranks, you say? Hmm. Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? The castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. What has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs. After a rainstorm, she drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door, and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. I just want to ask her a few questions. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. I like your later, Hosen. Yes, yes, get it out of your system now, Fraulein. What do you mean? No one likes lederhosen. Look at these. All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes. And it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. <laughs> then why do you wear them? Yeah, why do you wear them? He's part of Marcus's Bavarianization of the castle. Oh. He wants to give tourists a more authentic experience when they come here. It sounds like you're not a fan of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. It sounds like you don't like tourists. We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. How are people hearing about us to invite us to other countries to solve mysteries? I have no idea. Why do we have a good reputation? Because we're shit. We're terrible. We Bye. We don't... Auf Wiedersehen. Do we actually? I mean, I guess... I guess we kind of help sometimes. Well, that's locked. Oh, I mean, it's locked. Hey. An interesting painting. It's got to be a secret behind there. <laughs> you know what, Sarah? That is a fact. <laughs> Oh, that is a fact, <laughs> and it's upsetting. <laughs> Aviary attorney? Wait, what is that? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Did I know about this? I don't remember. <laughs> that 
That sounds awesome. What the hell? Okay. I had to Google it. <laughs> Hang on. Aviary attorney. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a game. Well, no shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me just put this on my wish list so I can remember. <laughs> oh, that looks incredible. Okay. We're going to play this someday. I don't know when. I got to get it first. But we're going to play that. Oh, whoa. that's bad. Look Whoops. at that mess. I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. God Sorry. damn it. I will. Fucking messed it all up. Hey, the game guide. Well, this would have been more helpful than <laughs> the other book. I've seen that image before in one of the paintings here. Hero, half sparrow, half human, based on Grimm's character, Father Sparrow from the Sparrow and his four children. This erudite warrior rules the battlefield with a sword sharp wit and an impeccably assembled wardrobe. Professor Sparrow's lengthy lectures conjure nearby objects into a formidable fighting force. If challenged at close range, Professor Sparrow will execute a beak attack or simply fly to safety. Oh, I like him. Okay, we gotta put everything back. Oh no. How, uh, how? Where did they go? <laughs> yeah, impeccably. It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. Oh shit. No, 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 no. One of these. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so we know y'all. Okay. We know our Sparrow Professor, rather Professor Sparrow, is a hero, but we don't know which hero platform he belongs on. Hmm. Okay. Our wolf is a monster. Let's see. Okay. Donkey's a hero. Professor, uh, Professor Sparrow's a hero. Corn Cannoneer. They're all heroes. Let's see. Let's see if we can... So we've got... Okay, Donkey's a hero. And then... Who was it? The Cannoneer, right? But I don't see him. Who the hell is this? Okay, I don't see the cannoneer. Wait, they all go away. No, they don't. They, okay, it holds their spot. Okay, good, good. <laughs> like, wait a second. Okay. So. Donkey, Sparrow. Oh. Our sea hare is a hero. Which is this one. Perfect! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay. Um. We're gonna have to figure out the rest of them. Heh. <laughs> Who else? Do we have the wolf? We've got the golden hunter. He's a magician. Our fairy is a magician, and our this guy is a magician. Future card design in process. What if we get to design a card? That would be so cool. Okay, fairy, 
It's magic. This guy is magic. Oh, our wolf is a monster. This guy. Uh, golden hunter. Is that guy magic? That would make sense, right? But she's a human. How does that work? Hmm. Did we do it? They're all level, right? I don't think that worked. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Um. Huh. Hmm. Well. I mean, how can we move it? Let's see. Oh my goodness, by the way, Anonymous, thank you for the $10. Sorry, I just, I don't know how long ago that was, but I just saw it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I'm scared to move them. <laughs> I'm not doing your homework, okay? <laughs> I said no channel points, so I, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what if we just do a little switcheroo? No? Hmm. Okay, what if we just... No? Hmm. Okay, what if we just... And, and then we, yeah, no? And then, well, what if we do that? Oh, y'all, I'm an idiot. They have to be level, y'all have probably already seen this already. <laughs> Each of these has to be level with the line behind it. Oh, why am I like this? Why, why? <laughs> Okay, all right. You know, that's that was a bad idea. Switch them back, put them back. Okay, what about these guys? Wait, no, that's a bad idea. Switch them back, put them back, okay. <laughs> what about, no. You switch these guys around? No, now they're all level. That's bad, no, that's bad. Here we can, oh, uh-oh. 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 Oh, that's too much. What if we switch these guys? Oh, now that's too much. Well, fuck. What if we switch... these guys? No, I just did that. <laughs> What if we steal the cards and run out of the room? Okay, that's a good that's a good plan. Everybody get ready. Uh so okay. Andy, you take the first set, Dunkmaster, you take the second set. Sarah, you take the third set, and I will see you guys at the at, at um and uh, at the at our getaway car. Sound good? Okay. Break! <laughs> one's where it needs to be. Yes. Okay, but they all affect each other. They all affect each other. Damn it, you're right. You gotta drive the car before you break. Oh, damn it. I forgot. Got it. Look at that. Wait, what's that? Uh-oh. Carl. Oh god. Y'all, okay. I don't know any other languages besides English. I'm gonna butcher this and I apologize. Nein, du hast... Nope. Okay, see, I I don't know how to pronounce the things. I have to translate that. But maybe we can translate it. We don't have a translator. We're gonna need to find a translator.
Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! Adventure. The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. Ooh. That means I can send Raid in. That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. We can't Always use our smartphone. <laughs> but this doesn't seem bad. We have a smartphone. Not yet, but you'll see. <laughs> Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will <laughs> oh, you help no. me create a new character? Yes, oh my I god, that's what I said. won't work out, but I want it to be perfect. Yes, let me design your character. This is what I was born to do. <laughs> yes, we came to Germany without a translation dictionary. What were we thinking? We weren't. We weren't thinking. But it's time to design. Let's do it. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. Yes, I'd let like me you do to it. help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bear-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male? Or female? Bear-skinned creature? I don't... I... I don't know. Male. Thanks. But that's it? No! Let me draw them. Let me design the... the I don't know. Do they have armor? Do they have magic? Let me draw it. I want to draw it. <laughs> Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Well, now I'm upset. Okay. Where is that book? Well, that's not it. No. Yeah, but I wish it were. <laughs> where, where? Where's the book? This looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. There's got to be something special. What a strange place to keep a key. Something special. There's got to be something special in this painting. We found it. A sound of thunder. Okay, but where's that book? Oh, oh, does the key go there? There's, there's no lock. There's nothing. Okay, but... Oh, y'all, I know what I'm looking for, and I know why I can't find it. Because it's not its own separate book, which is what I'm looking for. But why am I- why- why am I looking for a separate book? What is not a separate book? It's in this game guide. Here we go. Placeholder, feature card. Okay, well, damn it. I was hoping that it would be done already. Apparently not. Um. <laughs> you know, somehow this is worse than the picture of Suki, the cat that I took last game. I don't, I don't, I don't know how, but somehow that's <laughs> worse. Oh, we can set our background. Look at that. Waverly. Oh, that's from one of the other games. Waverly Academy, I think. I don't have that one. Oh! Speak of the devil. There's Suki. <laughs> Storm. And Yumi. Oops. Let's have Yumi as our background. <laughs> We can still have the cat meow. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Fun fact. Uh. Oh, God, no. Not. Ooh, we can have disco. Let's go with disco. Uh, I, I used to have my texting tone set as a cat's meow in actuality. 
Let's call Ned. I don't know why I didn't think to call him earlier, but let's call him now. Can't talk on my phone now. What do you mean? Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Let's see. What's that? A brief history of Castle Finster. Oh my. Construction began on the castle in 1436, but it was this person's name that I can't say, Amsel, the third owner, who was responsible for the castle's completion. He had purchased the incomplete property with the intent of making it into an ancestral seat that would be passed down through the family, and sadly, of his four children. Only his daughter, Elsa, 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 I don't know survived past childhood before su suffering an early tragic death herself. At the hour of her death, the hands of her beloved cuckoo clock mysteriously stopped. Devastated by her loss, the Baron became a recluse in his own castle from that moment on. Upon his death years later, the castle was sold to another lord and has changed hands a few times since, but continues as a privately owned residence and entirely self-sustaining community today. The clock, which became a special symbol for the castle, remained on display until 1894, when it was damaged beyond repair. Though her time at the castle was brief, Elsa left behind a lasting legacy. It was her feminine touch that transformed the cold stone interior into something grander. Proud of her region's heritage and traditions, she wished to showcase the talents of local craftsmen and artisans by furnishing the castle with their work. Many of the original pieces purchased by Elsa are still on display along with more recent acquisitions, such as intricate glockenspiel, decadent velveteen hangings, and stained glass windows, the largest nearly 20 feet tall. Even today, Castle Finster continues the tradition of supporting and displaying local crafts after the original glassblowing facility and its subpar safety measures accidentally burned down in 1923 a new updated glass hot shop was built to maintain the tradition the new studio even allows residents and visitors to watch as glass artisans work on commissioned pieces from elsa to present day the castle community remains proud of their unique heritage and culture and gladly put on display for all the world to enjoy Did you enjoy that chat? That was just for you. And now I'm going to drink some coffee. Ow. Okay, where are we going? Can we go down here? What's in here? Oh yeah, we were down here. What's in here? Ooh, shiny. Elsa was the best. The best! Oh, this is... This. I don't know. Whoops. Whoops! We'll figure that out later. Where are we? Okay, now we're stealing, so... You know, that's, uh... Pretty common for Nancy. Uh, there's also an A on the window. I think that is gonna mean something, probably. <laughs> yeah, now! Now we're stealing. Yep. Now. Yep. Just right now. Never before.
Castle Crier, mark your calendar. So 89% believe that the monster is real. We've all taken precautions. Okay. A malevolent monster may manufacture mob mentality. That is a headline. And that is a good question. I don't know. <laughs> a monstrous terror has again descended on our fair castle, leaving many to wonder if the fabled monster has in fact returned. No, I don't think so, said Carl. Goodness. So some stuff happened. And, uh... There's a festival. Visitors. This shadow is a threat, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. Nobody needs to worry. The festival is still going to go on. They're going to take every precaution. Oh, hello. There's a person here. Nancy Drew, is it? Hi. I understand you and I have much in common. Oh. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially. <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Monster? What monster? <laughs> what? Yes. This this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster? He's here for you. Sir, right? What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. Maybe she I is. I deal in fate and tragedy. What if Ned's when a young the girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. Of course we're not. I didn't think that you would. You're part of this story now. Okay. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then, the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place, especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants, all walking in a line. She was very proud of it, and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day, when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. What kind of monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name, what kind of monster it was? That means nothing. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. Okay, why bother telling us the story and then being like, you don't need to know any details, you know what I mean? Like, okay, guess it's irrelevant. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> You'll figure it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. Are you threatening me? Threatening you? No. <laughs> no, I'm not threatening you, Nancy. 
Okay, good. Because <laughs> it didn't seem like it at all. <laughs> Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest, they make cakes. These chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. How well do you know Carl? Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably not great. Right. Why are you here? I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world. I tell stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let me just, uh... I shouldn't do this right now. So we're... It's premeditated, then. We all can confirm that we're planning to steal something out of this old woman's bag. Lovely. I shouldn't do this right now. Great. Okay. So, I think Nancy is force sensitive because we can just pick up coins from across the room like it's nothing, apparently. Either that, or she's a mutant, you know? She's like Jean Grey. You know? What the? What is this? It's locked. She's got a dungeon down here? Like, what? Or Magneto. Yeah, that would probably make the most sense. <laughs> Ooh. You got a gift shop. Das Monster. So, I think we should buy one of these. <laughs> Growls quite well. <laughs> If there's something on any of them that we can press. Maybe the time on each one is a hint. I don't know. Maybe they're nothing. 49. Oh, we can't buy one of those. Oh, we should have bought one of those! The 
heart of glass. Huh? I wonder what this says. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. Okay, we got some history of glass blowing. How to do it. Interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to read it out loud, sorry. I came to see the creature, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Wait! Oh, fuck! I didn't mean to buy that. Okay. Well, all right, I guess we have a t-shirt now, so that's cool. We could have bought one of these, you know? Well, no, we can't. We don't have enough money, but anyway. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no, I am the one to apologize. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... That's it. A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. It must be something, or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? Yes. <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah? No? No. 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 Good. You would tell me if you were... There's nothing yeah, wrong totally, with being totally. scared. <laughs> I'm not. Promise. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There's a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns, seeking a victim. People think that time is now. What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, flocks of sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would say, oh, The monster will be here soon! But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but uh, different this time. How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. 
What can you tell me about the monster? I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did, and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? Oh no, is that a Billy? I see. Hi, Billy. How's it going? I don't... I mean... You better not jinx it. You better not jinx it for us. I promise. <laughs> okay. For the last little while... Nobody's there died yet, okay? These weird howls from the woods. <laughs> the sound... It's no animal I've ever heard of. And it is definitely not human. It sounds... I don't know. Frustrated? At night, you can hear the thing. It's circling the castle, getting closer each time. It's terrible. Maybe it's looking for a mate. Okay, y you know, you're... That's true. There was a lady that got yoinked at the beginning. But she's fine. She just... She's locked herself inside her house. She won't answer any questions that we try to ask her. But she's fine. She didn't die. <laughs> Thank you, Zerloka. Hi, hola, how are you doing? <laughs> right? Like, maybe he just wants a mate. That's it. Maybe that's why he's out here just trying to get it on. I don't know. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Billy, I know. It's been, like, ridiculously hot here, too. Jeez. D please, please keep surviving. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone enduring the heat, like... I hope you can get through it. I hope everyone has a fan, at least, or something. <laughs> yeah, there's a lady that got yoinked! I don't know. <sighs> also, I'm sorry for screaming at everybody. What do you think of Renata? I love her stories. Sometimes, when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. What reputation? It's... it's difficult to explain exactly. Violence? She's, a lot of people say that wherever what? she goes, bad fortune follows. Do you think that? Not really. I don't know what but you're talking she about. she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it, whenever the castle gets to talking about the monster, she's not far behind. Ooh. Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sighting? What if she's the monster? I'd be surprised. But then again... No, never mind. It's nothing. What? Okay. I shouldn't be telling you this. Ooh. Secret chat. Here, here we go. And again, everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. Mm. What was she doing? That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually, that was the last we heard of the monster for a while, too. What a coincidence, huh? Hmm. What's a Castellan? I'm in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister. Sort of like the mayor. Or, I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. Oh. I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. Oh my. What do you think of Carl? I think that Carl has been placed <laughs> on this planet to test my patience. Trevor so Castle you two Virginia. don't get along, I take it. <laughs> the fact that that man got elected makes me wish we were back in the days when you had to pull a sword out of a stone or a lake or something to assume power. He'd never be able to figure it out. Too many steps. What with the pulling and then the not dropping it and then the remembering to tell people about what happened. Hmm. Do people around here trust Carl? Apparently enough do. He's still got the job. 
So, how did you get such a cool job? I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. Also, his name is Belmont. All right, Trevor Belmont. <laughs> Just by the way, and Zerloka, this one's for you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Although I'm sure that must have been jarring. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no, no. Belmont, Castlevania. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I can, I can work with it. <laughs> oh man. Did you hear? Did, okay. I'm going to go on a tangent. I'll try not to too much. Did y'all, did y'all hear? Did we talk about this already? How there's going to be uh, another Castlevania series that Netflix is working on? It's like a spinoff kind of sort of sequel, not kind of sort of sequel thing anyway i don't remember if we talked about that but but it's a thing that's happening apparently what's with a glass display ah oh, you noticed glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around bavaria we do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the last few days, we'd have to stop them for the moment. You make glass here in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something <laughs> delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. No! I guess so. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying, the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? Andy, they're like in one episode. They're like... They're they're not even minor characters. We don't need that. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, though. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> sure, I guess. She might be right. But you could also say that the monster is also one of the old things. Can I see the glass shop? Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. What do the people who live here think about the monster? People have stopped talking about it. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here... Let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. This monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle halls. And he will stop at nothing to steal her away into the woods. Well, then what happens? No one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. Except the one that got yoinked at the beginning and made it back. So, we have a witness. Hello. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. That, that's a good point. We are the only out-of-towner, so... I mean, she could just, like, put a little sign out front and be like, Sorry momentarily closed what the hell is this i guess we're getting a pretzel okay this is adorable and i love it Did we eat it? Oh, now I want a pretzel. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, that's our phone. Nazis, Marcus, 
Cell phone reception is not appropriate up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. Oh, okay. Where the hell is our room? Yeah. Where are we going? Marcus. Oh wow! I don't even have to type it in. <laughs> no. Marcus here. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So Me? far. Great. I'm on my way down. I'm about what? four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got to the town in France you wanted rich. I want everything tied up with a neat bow. Signed, sealed, delivered, stamps the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors, fast talking itself, aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite type of car, too. You prove yourself to me. In this case, I see big things in your future. Uh... Look at me. I started as small like you. Now I've got four houses. Three in Berlin and one somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. Why do you need four really houses? Really should talk about someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. Obviously, I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh my god. Andy, you take that sentence and you put it back in your mouth. <laughs> or or you, you backspace it and get rid of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. How dare you? even suggest that we get rid of Ned. Oh my god. I was going to ask, why didn't Ned come with us, you know? I still have a question about, like, because Ned was like, like, we're all the way in Germany. I'm assuming that he's still in America, right? And we're all like, by the way, on a case, and Ned's just like, so I'm going to have to cancel our romantic getaway. I'm still on this. I'm going to have to cancel our romantic getaway again. Did he not know that she was going to Germany? Did Nancy just like get up in the middle of the night, catch a plane at 4 a.m. or something and just fucked off, you know, without saying anything? Is that what happened? I just, I have so many questions. What do you know about Renata? Nothing. Is that a person? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. Oh, okay. I'll add that to the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know. What can you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and Anya? Really? Yeah, it was years ago. She didn't mention that. Yeah, why would I'm she not mention surprised. that? The breakup didn't exactly go well. But why yeah, would she? No, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset, and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange? How? It's not really. It it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, what happened? Oh. I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business, skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. What do you think of Carl? 
Yeah, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. You're the one who broke up with Anya? Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the <laughs> realm of ludicrous accusations. Oh, he's angry. Huh? I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. Okay, well, anyway. Have you tried Carl's game? No, 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 no. I do not play games. But if I did, I would not play them with Carl. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. See you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Fuck, I wanted to call Ned. I wanted to call Ned. I just, I thought I could click Hi. on the signal. Hi, you get in touch with Ned yet? And Not was... yet. Well, Joe's been keeping him company. That's good. Ugh, relationships. Tell me about it. It's funny that I'm more comfortable tracking down some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. <laughs> Same here. Occupational hazard, I guess. So, what's going on in Germany? I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. What's your take on the situation? I'm not so sure. I've got a really strange feeling about this place. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. Will do. Oh my goodness. Andy, thank you for the gifted subs to Billy and Zerloka. Thank you very much. And oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I forgot? <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> All right. I um I forgot about this little thing that we were doing and uh that I haven't finished getting, uh, I haven't finished finishing it yet. <laughs> but apparently we hit the goal, so thank you very much for that. And, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out when we're gonna do that now. So great. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> but really, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh, I'm gonna... We we don't need that to sit up there. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we're, we're gonna do it during a, one of our Life is Strange streams. Oh man, y'all, okay, don't be mad if I won't be able to... I said, once we reach the goal, we'll do it for the next Life is Strange stream. But I might not be ready by Friday this week. So please don't be upset if I can't do it Friday. I'll do my best for the next Friday, though. I could really use some money. Try seeing if there is anything you can do for the people around the castle. Oh my god, that's a lot of text. The people here seem to think that the same monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. A scapegoat? Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, they take advantage of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, what? Wait... <laughs> What? The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? You've tried? Yeah, no one wants to talk. 
They must really be scared of this thing. I need to find my way into the glass studio. Have you asked for a key? Someone must have one. I mean... This has not been one of my better days. What's going on? Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. We chose to oh, come that's here. awful. That officially qualifies as a terrible day. Anything I can say to cheer you up? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. I'm sure you'll solve the case? That helps, I guess. Your luggage is probably somewhere great, like Tahiti, enjoying a nice tropical vacation. With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. True. Thanks for the effort. No problem. I feel kind of weird talking to Frank and being like, oh, relationships, am I right? When Frank's brother is over there trying to comfort Ned. Because we just kind of fucked off. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the actual fuck? Also, Beer Stoop, hi! How are you doing tonight? And thank you for the resub! Yo! For 10 months, look at that! How are you doing today? But for real, I did, like this the whole conversation with Frank just makes me feel kind of weird and uncomfortable. I don't Thanks, know. Thanks, see you later. Catch you later. Just just for the reason that like if you're having relationship issues, it's probably better to talk to the person you're in a relationship with. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> like, it's not really gonna help to go talk to other people unless there's, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it depends on the situation and whatever, but, like, ultimately it's between the people involved in the relationship, so I don't, I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, let's call Ned. Ten hotted dogs for ten months. There you go. Oh. Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. Ned. Damn it. Are we gonna leave a message? Okay. Hey, Ned. I'm really sorry for just fucking off to Germany without telling you in the middle of the night and, you know, making you cancel our vacation. A romantic getaway. I'm really sorry for doing that again. And, um, by the way, I talked to Frank a minute ago on the phone. Okay, bye! Uh-oh. 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 It's the monster! <laughs> He's struck again! Quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! What happened here? It has gotten past the gates. Uh, this has never happened before. Nancy, this is different <laughs> now. You better leave. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> space. That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. I'd better find a way to put out that fire and fast. Wait, they don't have, like... Oh, no. How, how, how... Okay, we've got a well... Okay. All right. Yeah, we probably brainwashed it. Like, you know, Ned deserves so much better than the shit that we put him through. Oh, yeah, the fire, the fire. Okay, we gotta... Oh, shit, why do I have to... Okay. There we go. Did it. Done. The monster Fine. did some major damage out here. There's a lot of damage. There's strange stuck in that door. What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's from, that could help me track the monster. We'll just take that with us. Don't want to leave yet. I thought we were trying to track the monster, Nancy. I guess not right now. We're gonna track it later. Who was up here? Oops, whoops, oops. Guys, back. 
Oh. Okay, bye. Um, yeah, you know, that's a good point. They kind of just left the gate open once they let us inside, so... Whose fault is it here, you know? Oh, who are you? Is that a kid? Hello. Hi, are hiding? so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? Probably. I've been known to do things like that. <laughs> I'm Lucas. Oh, hi. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play monster? No. I mean, what? <laughs> okay, what's that? The best game ever. I just got it. It's really pretty awesome. Let's play a round. We'll play two rounds, and Zavin goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. Oh, this time, no. I'll be the farmer, and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. Pog? Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. When you're ready, start the round. Ooh. You'll be a secret monster, and you'll be a secret monster, and you'll be a secret monster. Okay. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. Huh. Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn, and I'll get to guess again. Yo, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. <laughs> okay, let's, um... Let's, uh, let's kill that one, I guess. can't really move oh we can okay just kidding can we oh can we move them wherever oh <gasps> when i guess correctly one of your monsters will be killed and i can either choose to guess again Oops. or pass <laughs> we'll continue taking turns until either all three monsters or all the cows are dead whoops <laughs> okay do we get a prize if we win Uh oh. Okay, so we have one dead monster. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I'm really bad at these, y'all. We can only kill one of two. <laughs> Maybe that one, I don't know. We'll put it there, and then we'll put that one there, and then this one will go here. Damn it. Then the round is over, and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer, and I'll be the monster. Okay. The We're second round is over when time. either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Uh, wait, are we not? Oh, 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 we're playing for real. Okay, oh, okay, sure. Choose a cow to kill, and kill. Oh my god, these poor little cows. to move this one too.
just gotta concentrate. I think that was a bad idea. <sighs> oh, apparently he didn't get it. Okay. You want to Boltron our monsters together into a dragon? Oh, <gasps> okay. How, pray tell, are we going to achieve such a thing? <laughs> I'm down, but but how? <laughs> Oh my god. We're just gonna stack them. What, what if they just, like, Jenga all over the place, though? Doing pretty well this round. cows. Okay, god damn it. This is going to be more difficult, I think. Game. Got him. Here you go. Should I pick a set? Ooh. Yes. Ooh, okay. Which set should we choose? I mean, there's the... I kind of want to choose the one with the professor. The little professor sparrow. But I kind of like the corn cannoneer also. 
Hmm. Hmm. So many choices. It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some, if you can beat me at Monster. What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm, what's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave, usually, and it gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die, but he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people, and he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore, and he runs into the town, and he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all, and he goes back to his cave. Oh, my God. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Lucas! Sounds kind of like that. <laughs> oh, I like this kid. It's great. Are we going to collect them all? Hell yeah, but probably not tonight. <laughs> But hell yeah, we gotta, gotta be the very best, you know? Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Ooh, secret passages? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Hey, okay, but you can tell us. <laughs> You can tell us about the secret passages, though. We'll keep it a secret. It'll be fine. That sounds creepy. Never mind. Forget everything I said. Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? Oh, Carl can't catch me. That's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. He couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. He couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. I can continue if you'd like. Wow. Couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. Wow. Okay, go ahead. Oh my god. Okay, go ahead. He couldn't catch a... a thing if he was a different thing. I really didn't expect you to say yes. <laughs> Have you seen the monster? I don't know. How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. It was awful. That's how it gets around so quickly. What did you see? Probably a monster. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. Why would we just accuse him? Have you always lived here? Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Most of it's boring. But not all of it. What do you mean? I can't tell you I'd get in trouble. But it's bad. My dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy men. He says that a lot. What does he mean when he says that? I can't tell you. Also, I don't really know. What can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. What do you think of all the tourists who come here? They're so boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? 
If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in like a second. It's really weird. What do you know about Renata? She's not so great. My dad says she's lucky that they let her come here. She has a reputation. What kind of reputation? I don't know. She steals or something. No one here trusts her, and she's always trying to boss me around, stopping me from doing anything fun. Oh, how so? Does she stop you from bugging Carl? She's just in the way. I don't like her. Oh. That's an interesting way to phrase that. You must have a reason for not liking her. You ask too many questions! This kid, like... How old is this kid? It sounds like something an adult would say to get a kid to stop asking them questions, you know what I mean? Are you back to play more monster? No. Not now. Okay, sure. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. What? <laughs> has he heard his dad say that or something? You're what? Isn't that what everyone says on all of those TV shows? My lawyer. Ah, I need a lawyer. There you go. I ain't talking without my lawyer. That's TV, not real life. You're not answering my question. And I ain't gonna do it, see? Not till you get me a real class A briefcase jockey. That sounded good, right? I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. Okay, so that kid is really suspicious to me. But I also kind of like him. He's fine. Probably. He's okay. Ooh, the brothers grinned. What? What are you going to ask for, Andy? For your birthday? What do you want? What are you going to ask for? <laughs> oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't saved our game. So, captive is probably fine. I feel like we're being held captive or cursed. Let's call it cursed because the whole game is cursed and we are the cursed. So, you know. You're going to ask for a real Class A briefcase jockey. <laughs> I just, I hope you can imagine the expression I have on my face. I'm not going to turn on my, my camera. That's too much effort. I just, I hope you can imagine. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Librarians, professors, folklorists, Jacob and Willem Grimm, better known as the Brothers Grimm, were born a year apart in, I apologize if I get this name wrong, Hanau, Germany in 1785 and 1786. Oh, okay, okay, Andy, all right, okay. 98% certain. So there's a 2% though. <laughs> their childhood was a relatively happy one until their father died when the boys were in their early teens. After his death and the death of their grandfather shortly thereafter, that's really sad, the family struggled to make ends meet. Eventually, both Jacob and Willem attended the University of Marburg to study law. It was here at the university where the brothers' interest in collecting folk and fairy tales was first peaked. While traveling in France as a research assistant for one of the professors, Jacob became fascinated by a German manuscript of old stories he'd found. Interested in keeping the tales and the culture alive, Jacob and Willem began their search for other such tales. The brothers solicited help from their friends as well as trips to the surrounding countryside in order to obtain as many tales as possible. A large majority of the tales came from female acquaintances, such as Dorothea Wilde and the Hassenflug sisters, Amelie and Jeanette. The first edition of Kinder und Hausmarchen, apologies again, I don't speak German, 
Children's and Household Tales was published in 1812 and contained 86 different tales. With the success of the first edition, the Brothers Grimm continued their search for additional tales. Though they attempted to keep the tales as true to the original telling as possible, the first edition was thought to be unsuitable for young children. As a result, each subsequent edition of the book was edited slightly in order to make the stories more suitable for all audiences. The second edition, released in 1815, contained 70 new tales. Wow. And five more editions followed over the years. The final seventh edition had the 210 tales still seen today. The fairy tales were not the only well-known project from the Grimm's. They also started work on this other thing I don't know how to pronounce, which is a detailed German dictionary that traced the origins of German words. Though they were only able to publish a small portion of the massive undertaking in their lifetimes, the dictionary was such a large project that it wasn't completed until nearly a hundred years after their deaths. Jacob Grimm also invented Grimm's Law, a formula that explained how consonants changed across languages. By the end of the 1850s, Jacob and Willem Grimm had received numerous honors and awards, were members of this seven, been librarians to the king and respected throughout the world before their deaths in 1863 and 1859. Their names live on forever as one of the foremost folktale collections of all time. Wow. Yeah, I, I guess so. That's what it, that's, you know, logical. Yes. Probably. What the hell did we just pick up? Oh good, I, we can't look at it. <laughs> Perfect, ooh, shiny. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and save again on top of that. And, um, you know, I hate to do this to y'all, but I I think we're going to go ahead and end here for tonight. I feel like it's a good place to end. And, um, I, well, okay, I don't know if it's actually a good place to end. <laughs> but I feel like it's a good stopping point, if that makes sense, so. Ah! Okay, so, um... That's gonna be it for tonight. I feel like my voice needs a rest. And I know we didn't do too much tonight, but uh, I, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I kind of feel like it's going away, like I'm losing it or something. So maybe it'll be good that tomorrow's Wednesday and I'm, I'm gonna take it off of streaming. But uh, I'll be back on Thursday. For some more Nancy Drew. I'm actually really curious about this monster and finding out more about it. And I really hope at some point we can talk to that one woman that got yoinked. You know? But, uh, yeah, for now, I don't know. It's like all of a sudden, too. I mean, I haven't even done anything with it. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why. Maybe there doesn't have to be a re- uh, like an actual reason, I don't know. But, uh, I did- you know, that's true. I did sing for five whole minutes. Ugh, I just took everything out of me, you know? It's, like, I just- Huh. <sighs> Can't believe you done this. But- but anyway, alright. I'll- t <laughs> Y'all, thanks for bearing with me today for all the- all the shit. <laughs> As I said before, or at the top of the stream, um, I, I need to figure out my screen flickering thing with my capture card so we can eventually play The Outer Wilds. Which, by the way, that game, I did not realize that. That game has a bunch of dialogue, a bunch of dialogue options, 
and nobody speaks it like they do in Nancy Drew, so I will have to speak it, so maybe it's a good thing we're holding off on it anyway, since my voice is weird and feels like it's just trailing off and going away. All right, well, anyway, I'm gonna go give it a rest and drink tea or something, but, uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you again for the gifted subs and uh, for for the resub and just generally choosing to spend your time here. It's always such a fun time, even if we don't really do much or just like spend so much time just talking about ridiculous things. I don't know. It's always such a fun time. So thanks for choosing to spend your time here. Have a good rest of your evening or morning, whatever the fuck it is where you are. I I, I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow too. And uh, I'll see you back here on Thursday. Stay safe and take care, y'all.